Hi, this is Brother Ken once again. Welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Today is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to talk to you about how to overcome witchcraft and how you can overcome witchcraft when they are using something that belongs to you as a point of contact. Something that belongs to you as a point of contact to bewitch you. <clears throat> Many people are being bewitched because witches are using something they took from them as a point of contact. Do you understand? Uh, you understand that when a crime is done, when the police come in, they are able to detect the person who committed the crime by just finding out the fingerprint of the person. Uh, and they will be able to decode the DNA and be able to match up with other people who are suspect. So everything that pertains to you has your DNA connected to it. Uh, do you understand? As you are wearing a, a clothing, you are sweating. So somebody can get you through your clothing just because of the sweat. Do you understand? Somebody can take your hair as a point of contact and use it to practice witchcraft against you because it carries your DNA. Somebody can use your fingernails, can somebody, anything that belongs to you, somebody takes. They can use it to represent you as a point of contact. And unfortunately, many witch people who are practicing witchcraft, one of the ways they attack their uh, people is to use things that belong to the person they want to victimize and they want to use. So tonight, this afternoon evening morning whatever time you are watching me i'm coming into agreement with you if any witch is using your picture sometimes they can use your picture to practice witchcraft on you sometimes they can take your hair especially the women especially the women and even as the men also but especially the women sometimes when you go to these places to make your uh, manicure and uh, to trim your fingers and if the person who is dealing with you is into witchcraft, they can easily get access to you because you are going to leave particles of your hair when you go to do your hair or partic uh, your uh, fingernails. And as they are uh, kind of, um, um, sh um, how do you call it, washing your feet and scraping it, you are going to leave part of your skin there and ask yourself, wh where do they take all these things that belongs to me? Sometimes when a person is wanting to practice witchcraft on you they can take your clo clothes they can take your cloth or any dress that belongs to you some of you you've given your cloth to somebody your your dress to somebody and they can use it sometimes even the money you give to somebody in the good heart that i'm blessing this sister i'm blessing this brother i'm blessing and if the person is, is into witchcraft the very money you gave to them when they go into their coven because you gave it to them and it came from your hands, they will use it as a point of contact and begin to project spells and charms against you. Some of us, they go into your Facebook and then download your pictures and they put your pictures, print it out, put your picture on their altar and begin to practice witchcraft and sorcery and divination enchantment voodoo spells hexes on you and then suddenly you realize that everything is beginning to go wrong in your life today i pray for you that anybody who is using anything that is yours as a point of contact to practice witchcraft may that evil altar and where your property is and they are using it may it catch fire and be consumed by fire in the name of jesus christ whoever is using your picture as a point of contact to practice witchcraft and hexes and voodoo and black magic against you i command your picture to disappear from their coven to disappear from their shrine to disappear from their altar in the name of jesus christ sometimes too they can take a door or take any object and invoke your soul into it. And they said, oh, this doll, this doll, you know doll, girl's doll, like a toy. And then they will begin to invoke the person's soul into that doll or toy. And then they will say, okay, this thing represents Juliet. And this is the head of Juliet. This is the hands of Juliet. So, you know, girls have doll. And then they begin to pin, use pin. 
voodoo pain to inject into the head of the doll and then you begin to have headache. When they use the pain to pierce through the heart, you begin to have palpitations and heart problems. When they begin to twist the head of the doll, then it begins to affect you. When they begin to sit on the doll, then they begin to oppress you. So now somebody is using an object, a toy, an, a doll, to represent you in their coven. And anything that they do to the doll, it begins to affect you. And then you begin to come under serious witchcraft oppression, serious witchcraft suppression, serious witchcraft attack. And then things are going wrong in you, on your life. Because somebody has taken something from you or using something to represent you in their coven to practice witchcraft against you. Today, if you are that person hearing the sound of my voice, I come into agreement with you for the Bible says that there shall be no enchantment and there shall be no divination against Jacob. Today, I come into agreement with you that whoever is using your picture, whoever is using your money, whoever is using your dress, whoever is using your, your hair, whoever is using your jewels, who Whoever is using anything that belongs to you to practice witchcraft against you, I command that person to catch fire. Let the judgment of Jehovah visit that witch. Let the judgment of Jehovah visit that witch and let their witchcraft against you be destroyed in Jesus' name. Today, I break, I break, I break, I break that power of witchcraft attack on your health, on your life. Some of you are very sick now only because it's a witchcraft, witchcraft. Some of you, you are losing your mind because witchcraft are causing confusion because somebody is using a toy or a doll to represent you in their coven and they have as, uh, arrested your soul and encaged your soul to represent you to do all sort of witchcraft against you. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command your soul to escape. I command your soul to escape. I command your soul to escape as a bird out of the snares of the fowler. The snare, I command every snare, every witchcraft spells and charms against you to be broken in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus, by the anointing in the name of Jesus, I break the curse, I break the charm, I break the hexes, I break the voodoo, I break the obia, I break the santaria, I break every witchcraft against you, I break it off your life in the name of Jesus. Touch your head right now, touch your head right now, and I come into agreement with you. Any witchcraft, any witchcraft, any witchcraft that is tormenting you, that is afflicting you, that is oppressing you in the name of Jesus, I command it to break, I command it to break, I command it to break. I command you to pray. Let the power of God, let the power of God, let the fire of God consume every witchcraft, consume every witchcraft, consume every witchcraft, consume every witchcraft, consume every witchcraft that is attacking you in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your liberty. Receive your emancipation today. I came to command your liberty. I, call to, I came in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. I bind every power of witchcraft on your life. And I loose you in Jesus' name to receive your liberty, your freedom, your emancipation. And let, let there be restoration of your health. Let there be restoration of your marriage. Let there be restoration of your sanity. Let there be restoration of everything that you have lost because of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered. Be delivered. Precious one, get close to Jesus. Get close to God. Take your Christianity seriously. Take your Christianity seriously. If you are not born again, I ask you right now to accept Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and personal Savior. What will profit a man or a woman who, when you gain the whole world and you lose your soul? I recommend you give your life to Jesus this very instant and let your life be given over to Jesus. Allow Jesus to be the Lord and Master of your life and begin to take your Christianity seriously because when you don't take your Christianity seriously and you are not living a holy life and you are not obeying the commandment of God and you are not obeying God and living for him and filled with the Holy Spirit then witches will keep on practicing witchcraft on you but today I pray that you will give your life to Jesus you will take your Bible study seriously you will take your prayer life seriously you will attend church you will serve God and you will give and dedicate your life to the service of Jesus so that witches cannot oppress torment afflict you anymore in the name of Jesus Christ Connect to Jesus.
Give your life to Jesus and it shall be well with you. From today, that curse, that spell, that charm, that black magic, that voodoo of witchcraft that was oppressing you today, it's power over your life is destroyed in Jesus' name. I declare and decree over your life that no weapon, no weapon that is formed and fashioned against you, it shall never prosper. It shall never prosper. It shall never prosper. And every tongue of witches and wizards and agents and enemies lifted against you, I condemn all of them in the name of Jesus. I recommend that before you sleep, read Psalms 91 seven times and confess it. Read it out loud and believe, and the protection of God will be on you. And read it as often as you can, and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I will recommend you to, to get this book, Consuming Fire for Fire, Consuming Fire for Fire by Brother K. It will teach you how to fight personally. Today, I've come to do it for you, but you must learn to do it for yourself so that you can silence the voices of witchcraft against your life. Get this book, Consuming Fire for Fire by Brother K. It's going to help you. This is my own book. I've written. It has helped a lot of people. It has helped a lot of people. Get this book, and it will be a blessing to you. You will learn how to pray against... <coughs> The incubus spirit, the sakabu spirit, the spirit husband and spirit wife, spirit that sleep with people. When they sleep, you when you whenever you sleep, you you find yourself having sex, having sex. Um, this book will teach you how to pray against this evil spirit, uh, how to pray against witchcraft spirit and demonic attacks and demonic spirits, how to pray against the spirit of the python, Leviathan, how to pray against any strange woman who is trying to bewitch your husband and to destroy your marriage. You will learn how to pray against the spirit of singleness and the spirit of um, the, the marital problems like divorce, separation, and confusion in marriages. It will teach you how to pray uh, aggressive warfare prayers, prayers against delay. You will learn how to pray against the spirit of delay and the spirit of setback, the spirit against against um, satanic agent and evil authors get a book consuming fire for fire prayers by brother key brother key i'm going to leave the information at the bottom of this broadcast and you just type in my name the first name is k-a-y and the last name is b-o-a-c-h-i-e go to amazon those of you ordering from us just go to amazon and type in my name k Boache, K A Y, first name, and the Boache is B O A C H I E. Type in my name, and all my books will show up. There are books like Touch Not My Anointed, Urgent Prayers Against the Strong Man, um, Spiritual Diagnosis. Uh, and the new the new book I just wrote, Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers, and then Consuming Fire for Fire. Um, buy these books, and it shall be it will be a blessing to you. Get this book, Consuming Fire for Fire. And this is what I'm talking about it right now. And order it, order it for somebody you know who is going through witchcraft. Let them start praying it, and immediately they will see instant result and see the glory of God in their life. I also invite you to join me every Tuesdays and Fridays on my prayer line to join me to pray. Tuesdays and Fridays, Tuesdays in US, Canada, we meet on the prayer line at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesdays, and 11 p.m. Um, Eastern Time on Fridays, 10 p.m. on Tuesdays, 11 p.m. Eastern Time on Fridays. Um, for those of you who are trying to call from London or Europe, it will be 3 a.m. on Wednesdays, and 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. on Saturdays. Those of you calling from London or Europe, it is 3 a.m. on Wednesdays and 4 a.m. on Saturdays. And you can join the prayer line by calling this number 641-715-3655. 641-715-3655. And the extension number is 950014 pound. 950014 pound. Call the number, join us, and pray with us, and the Lord Almighty will bless you. Go to our website, um, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. If you are ordering this book, Consuming Fire for Fire, and any of my books, you can order it by going to. Um, uh, if you are ordering from outside of US, then go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com and order this book and my other books. However, if you are in the U.S., the easiest way is to just go to Amazon and type in the name, Consuming Fire for Fire, or my name, K. Boache, and all my books will show up. Get them, and it will be a source of blessing to you. Shalom. May the Lord preserve and protect you from all evil. And join me on Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers even in the name of Jesus. And you can also join the prayer life live on Facebook. My Facebook name is K-A-Y and the last name is B-O-A-C-H-I-E and you can join us live for the prayers. God bless you.